I want to bring in Mark Parkinson. He's the president and CEO of the American Health Care Association and National Center for Assisted Living. He's also the former governor of Kansas. Uh, good to see you, Governor. Good to see you. So here it is, the holiday season, especially difficult, you know, with the pandemic, families separated, you know, really out of need, necessity uh, here and safety. But talk to us about so many people in care facilities who are feeling even that much more lonely uh, and frightened because of this pandemic. Well, there's no question. There's, there is fear in the facilities. Mm -hmm. um, as you rightly know, almost half of the deaths have occurred in long-term care facilities. It's a tragic number, but Frederick, I've actually got good news to share with you today. Okay. Um, and that is that we've seen in the last two weeks that if governors make the vaccination program a priority, they can get it done. In West Virginia, Governor Justice has now led an effort where almost every single resident in facilities in that state have been vaccinated. Governor Lamont in Connecticut is not far behind. And what we're learning is that when these clinics are set up in these buildings, the residents are taking the test, they're taking the vaccine. 95% of the residents are taking the vaccine. So mm. as awful as it's been, as tragic as it has been, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Well, that is very encouraging. It is the issue. It takes a commitment. It takes money, resources, uh, you know, starting from the top in those states for governors to say, okay, here are the resources, the money in order to carry out this testing. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, what I learned as a governor is that the most important power of a governor isn't their ability to sign bills or to veto bills or to give a state at the state speech or things like that. Mm -hmm. It's really in the bully pulpit. And, you know, we really challenge every governor in the country to try to figure out what it is that Governor Justice and Governor Lamont have done and do the same thing in their states. If every governor would come out and say, we're going to have everybody vaccinated in these facilities with their first dose in January, by the time we got to the 1st of March, the COVID death rates in this country would be cut in half. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's with a very limited amount of vaccine that we need to solve this problem, and it can get done. Mm. Uh, and that is encouraging. You know, Governor, there have been so many stories from people in long, you know, term uh, care facilities, um, uh, you know, assisted living facilities, all kinds. One strikes me, uh, particularly in the Washington Post a few uh, weeks ago, and, you know, the, the gentleman who wrote about it talked about, you know, does anybody know we're here? Does anyone see us? I mean, there's a feeling of loneliness, isolation. They feel vulnerable, you know, watching the, the number of people testing positive positive rise within the facilities and some are feeling like you know they're just sitting ducks they're waiting for their turn to test positive and it is an issue of, of resources in so many places what about for those cash strapped states who say you know we wish we could give the green light to testing uh, promises of vaccinations but we don't have the money so then they're looking toward the federal government for some assistance and guidance yeah the, the leadership has to come from the top uh, you know, we really encourage the president to sign the stimulus bill. There needs to be more stimulus after that. The state and local units of government need the money not only to implement the vaccination program, but to get the country back on its feet. And without that leadership from the top, this is going to be very hard. But what we have seen in the last two weeks is that governors can get this done. It's happened in Connecticut. It's happened in West Virginia. We now need it to happen everywhere. Hmm. So. Do you think this experience is going to change um, how long-term care facilities are run in this country? I mean, how, how do you see this as, as painful and as hurtful as this has been? What is the teaching moment that now comes from this experience? Well, we have to decide as a country what priority level do we give the greatest generation, our older people, our parents, our grandparents, what priority do we place them in? Historically, we have underfunded long-term care. We haven't provided the resources that are needed to take care of the people with the dignity that they deserve. And hopefully when we get through this pandemic and the dust settles, we can take a long look at that and put the priorities where they need to be. Former Governor Mark Parkinson, thank you so much. Appreciate your time and happy holidays.